Hey guys, welcome back to Trinity Talks episode 2, or possibly episode 1. I don't know which one I'm going to release first. I just recorded the, um, going over my Spotify wrapped, uh, episode, so I don't know which one I'm going to release first. So it might be, this might be episode 2, this might be episode 1. Either way, welcome back. Today, we're going to be ranking Taylor Swift's albums because I listened to Macy Jade's podcast on this, and... I thought her rankings were, like, controversial, but, like, I feel like mine are controversial as well, so I don't know, you know? So let's just get into it, because I've kind of got a lot to talk about. (laughs) So, first of all, I did five tier, like, lists, and it was S tier, A tier, B tier, C tier, and D tier. So in S tier, the top was Speak Now and Folklore. I love Speak Now. I'm a Speak Now girly. It's my favorite Taylor Swift album of all time. No skips on that album whatsoever. And also Folklore. Folklore is great, but something about Speak Now, you know? And then A tier is Fearless, Taylor's version, Midnight's, and Evermore. I'm definitely like a Folklore, Evermore type of person. I just love those albums so much. And Midnight's is so good. I know it just came out a couple months ago, but I feel like it's just so good it's breaking so many records and like i don't know it's like the 10th album it's 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 good it's just amazing you know and then in b tier i have 1989 red taylor's version lover and reputation these are just the albums that are great some skips like i always skip um me and lover because it i'm over it okay um 1989 i always skip shake it off also over that and blank space i honestly i don't know but i don't know Reputation, I don't think I have any skips in Rip, honestly. Um, Red TV, there's a couple skips, honestly, sorry. In C tier, I have Debut, Taylor, what's it called, Taylor Swift, yeah. I feel like nobody ever calls it Taylor Swift, it's always called Debut, because it's like confusing, because like, you know, the artist is Taylor Swift, the album is Taylor Swift, it's, it's a bit much, you know. And then lastly in D tier, I have Fearless and Red, um, the like, stolen versions of them. So, yeah. And honestly, I can't really tell which, like, ranking is controversial because every ranking that I see is different. So I can't, like, I don't know, like, what is the fan favorite album? If I had to guess, I'd probably say it's Lover or 1989. I feel like everyone, like, if you were to do, like, a survey on, like, a 100 Taylor Swift fans, it would be, like, most of their favorite songs would be from one of those albums, I think. I don't know. They're just, like, the albums, I feel like. I don't know. So, I'm going to talk about my favorite songs off of each album in order of the ranking. And this is really hard to choose just one song, but from Speak Now, it would be Haunted, regular or the acoustic version, but if I had to choose, it would be the acoustic version. I love Haunted. It is such an amazing, wonderful, awesome, terrific song. I love it so much. Um, (laughs) and then off of Folklore, it would probably be Illicit Affairs because, whoa, that song is so good. Um, and I could listen to it forever and ever and ever and ever and ever, but The Lakes was a really close second. And then next would be Fearless, Taylor's version, probably You All Over Me, but this one was really hard to choose because Forever and Always, piano version is right there, The Best Day breathe and tell me why like they're all up there but you all over me is such a good song you know midnights um hits different i know it's not out um but i have the cd but i also have it downloaded to my phone because taylor swift release hits different i don't care i feel like the contract has to be like a year like with target so like i feel like we're not going to get it released until like october to be honest so I don't know. At least I have it downloaded to my phone. But Hits Different is so good. If you have not heard it, definitely look it up somewhere and download it to your phone because it's amazing and wonderful and awesome. It's the Target, like, lavender exclusive um, song from Midnight's. Um, But if we're talking about songs that have already been released, probably Dear Reader. Dear Reader is so good. I, like, had it on repeat for a long time. It's very um, relatable. So, yeah. Next would be Evermore, and off of Evermore, this one was pretty hard, but I would say Ivy, for sure, but Willow is right up there. Willow is a definite close second. They're basically both really tied, but Ivy is the one, like, I'm feeling as I'm recording this episode, 
but happiness as well oh my god i forgot about the song happiness is so good it's so good um it's hard to make just like one choice <laughs> 1989 clean the day that i hear clean taylor's version all my problems will disappear i'll ascend to heaven it will be the best day ever um 1989 is such a good album i love clean also you are in love oh my god i need 1989 taylor's version but first i need speak now taylor's version okay okay so next is red taylor's version today it's nothing new um it's just like relatable today but tomorrow it's gonna be like starlight and the next day it's gonna be the last time but i say nothing new today because i love phoebe bridgers as well i love phoebe bridgers i'm so excited for um her band's new album to come out it's coming out soon so yeah anyways love her love her this was pretty hard because i do have um like three top favorites from lover it's um death by a thousand cuts cornelia street and um cruel summer but and the archer but i chose death by a thousand cuts because the bridge is just oh my god it's like amazing it's immaculate you know so next we have reputation and this one was hard to choose as well i know i keep saying that for every album but it's true okay she just has like bangers after bangers after bangers you know but from rep i'd say it's got to be this is why we can't have nice things because i was just listening to the um reputation tour soundtrack on youtube and oh my god i forgot how good the live version of this is um this is why we can't have nice things it's just so good but also dress that's an amazing song the live version as well is great as well that's what i meant to say and it's really hard to choose but life or death i would choose uh this is why we can't have nice things yeah and from debut um like i said i forget this album isn't called debut it, it i don't know it's called taylor swift but it's just so weird you know but probably like i said i put this in c tier i think or wherever um i don't know i'm not really a debut type of person but i do enjoy country music i just i don't know something about debut but probably our song or picture to burn is like my favorite songs off of debut but all the songs are pretty good but i don't know it's just not my favorite album and then we have the fearless stolen version honestly i'm gonna say love story it's overplayed it is um like honestly to me it's annoying but it's still gonna be my favorite off of the fearless stolen version album because it's really nostalgic and i remember it playing all the time like on the radio as a kid and stuff so it's like memorable in that way but honestly if it comes on a playlist it's getting skipped i'm sorry like unless i'm really feeling it it's getting skipped but yeah and then finally we have a red stolen version i'm gonna say girl at home i have debated like back and forth do i like um girl at home stolen version or do i like girl at home taylor's version and I love them both, but something about the original is just so good. It's amazing. It's wonderful. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I love, I don't know. I know I said, like, I've got some skips, but I love all Taylor's songs. I feel like there's a song for every single thing. I mean, there's a song about killing your husband and framing his mistress. I mean, like, what? <laughs> so, yeah. But that's all. That's all I wanted to talk about today. So I hope you guys have a really good week and I'll see you guys next Friday or the Friday after this, depending on when you're listening to this episode, when I release it. I don't know when this episode's going to come out. It's either going to come out March 24th or March 31st or I don't know. I don't know when, but I'm, I said this in the trailer, but I am trying to do the Friday um, uploads because I feel like that's just a really good day for me because personally i have a lot of podcasts that i listen to that um release episodes on mondays and i feel like i have so many podcasts to listen to you know like oh my voice just cracked but um like crime junkie i love that podcast but like so many other podcasts come out on mondays i'm like stressed out (laughs) but yeah 
the next episode that I'm going to record, I'm not recording it right now because I don't even have like um, my like bullet points down, but it's going to be the books that I read in March because March is almost over, which is actually insane because it's supposed to be January. How is it? I'm recording this on March 23rd. Like how? How is it March 23rd? That doesn't make any sense to me. But yeah, I'm going to record the books that I read in March. I read, I think this has been my month with like the most reads um, so far. So hopefully I can keep it up. I'm trying to read um, 100 books this year. It's, it's going. I've read, I believe, I read a book today. I think that was book number 17. So I'm almost at 20. I mean, maybe by the time March is over, I'll hit 20. But, you know, I've only got like a week left, so... I do not have high hopes, but I read a whole book today, and then I've got two on hold at the library that I'm really excited to read, so I'm definitely, like, excited. It's just, for me personally, it's, like, starting a book that's the hardest. I can finish a book in, like, one sitting. It's just, like, sitting down to, like, start it is the hardest part, but I'll save that all for that episode. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give this podcast a rating, and if you didn't enjoy it, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Just give me some feedback and constructive criticism. There's always going to be a link in the episode description for a Google form that you can fill out to just kind of give me suggestions for episode ideas or just give me constructive criticism because, you know, I definitely need it. I'm definitely not perfect. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to say in this episode. I hope you enjoyed my ranking of Taylor Swift's albums. Let me know if you agree or disagree because I think... I might have angered a lot of people with uh, where I put some albums, but I don't know. Uh, Just let me know what you thought, and if you have any episode suggestions, definitely let me know as well. If not, I will see you guys next Friday. Goodbye!